Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your month of September of 2022. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We are going to be looking at the energies for the month of September for the sign of Capricorn, specifically Capricorn rising. And we're going to be looking at that in this session through the lens of true sidereal astrology. If you are new to true True sidereal astrology. I welcome you in. You have found yourself in the right place. When we talk about astrology here on Divine Conversations, this is the system that we use. If you have never seen your chart, your natal chart from the True Sidereal system, I highly recommend that you reach out. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested in seeing your chart. Send me your birth information, that being your date, time, and place of birth, and I will be more than happy to send you your natal chart free of charge. I am available for chart interpretation sessions, um, and I'm also available for general energy readings from using the tarot and oracle cards. All of the information of the readings that I offer and the sessions that I offer are listed in the description box below along with my email. Just let me know that you're interested in getting a session with me, and I will be very, very happy to get you all hooked up, yeah? Last thing that I want to mention is that as I'm talking about the placement of the planets in the house, Houses, that is going to be most relevant for the rising sign. This in case, uh, in this case, it would be Capricorn. But if you are a Capricorn sun or moon or any other placement, this still could resonate for you. It's just that the placement of the planets in the houses is not going to be the same unless you are a Capricorn rising. All right, guys, let's dive right into this. So Capricorn, your your uh, ruling planet of Saturn is retrograde right now, but in the true sidereal system, Capricorn is stationed in, I'm sorry, Saturn is stationed in your home sign of Capricorn. And even though Saturn is retrograde right now, that's not really something so big to keep a focus on because Saturn does go retrograde once a year. Um, however, uh, a retrograde motion of the planet does kind of accentuate the energy of that planet. And for you, that would be uh, Saturn right now. Um, and for the Sa for uh, Capricorn rising, your Saturn is in your home sign and your first house. So there is a level of empowerment that I'm feeling for you, especially empowerment with your sense of self. But... Um, this actually could be a little bit of a rough situation or at least could ultimately turn out to be a rough situation. And that has to do with the fact that Saturn is making a trine to Mars right now. And Mars is moving through the sign of Taurus. We're going to get deeper into this. Uh, I do plan on doing a, a session or holding a session to talk about Mars's transit because Mars is going to go retrograde t at the end of October uh, officially that retrograde motion is going to ha start on Halloween of <laughs> yeah uh, October 31st and that actually could bring about a lot of I'm hearing it described as destruction and madness and madness. And that's kind of what I want to talk about here for you, Capricorn. Obviously, we are talking about the month of September in this session. So stay tuned for that Mars retrograde session. But what I'm feeling for you right now, Capricorn, um, is a sense of empowerment. But with that trine happening with Mars, um, uh, uh, that's where things are a little bit tricky, okay? Now, Mars is moving through a fellow Earth sign of Taurus. So this definitely could be um, a focus on your physical life, your physical body. Um, the Mar uh, Taurus is the ruler of the second house. So this could be your value system, your possessions, the way that you make money. That seems to be a big thing here. Um, but the focus, the, the, the thing about this is, while you may be feeling a sense of empowerment, Capricorn, I, I feel like there is potential for that to really trip you up in the near future. And those are situations that could be uh, 
uh, uh, kicking off in the month of September. And it's mainly because of the trine that Saturn is making with Mars. Now, here's the thing about a trine. A trine is a flow of energy that could be really, really awesome or really, really bad. It depends on the situation. It could really go either way. But there is an ease in the flow of energy. And what I'm feeling for you, Capricorn, is this is in potentially ways that you're expressing yourself, ways that you have been expressing yourself, and or ways that you're going about business and getting what it is that you want physically, especially in terms of money. Again, we're gonna get into this for the greater collective here, but what I'm picking, uh, at a later date, but what I'm picking up on is, um, especially since Mars being in Taurus can make your mode of expression or in ways of getting things, acquiring certain physical situations or physical possessions or like money or whatnot, whatnot how it is you go about making doing these things can be fairly self-centered. And that's where I feel like things can be things can get tripped up for you because I feel like you could be running into situations right now, especially since we have a full moon in Aquarius, which is very much uh, this month, which is very much uh, talking about the collective and the people around you. Um, I feel like you could get tripped up and starting to see how your mm, not going to put it lightly, your selfish ways in terms of going about getting what it is that you want could be hindering other people and it could cause some serious issues. Now, the thing that spirit really wants me to say about that Capricorn is even if that something like that does happen, it's giving you a view into how you can fix or handle the situation better in the near future. Okay. But be very careful at uh, this sense of empowerment. I just feel this energy of just like blindly going forward. Forward, what it is that you want, having all kinds of drive and, and maybe even selfish drive and completely losing sight of the other people around you and how it might be affecting them. This could be in the greater scale, you know, maybe it's not necessarily you, maybe it's a certain business that you work for or certain um, institutions that you are uh, under the effects of, um, maybe even government. Again, we're going to get into that in another session. First card that's come out for you here is is the eight of wands communication things might feel like they flow very very easily easily for you and it and it's like it's almost as if you don't really have to put any real effort in it it just comes to you naturally but that's where you could slip and where it may feel like things are flowing really fast really smoothly really easily that's where uh, uh, there could be a level of carelessness kind of seeping into the situation and before you know it now you've gotten yourself into a trap or into a really negative situation that ultimately could turn out to be positive if you use the the wisdom or the knowledge that you gain from this you know to your advantage but ultimately it may start out as kind of, yeah, as kind of a negative situation. What I'm getting, we, we have the judgment call here or the judgment card here. I feel like spirit is going to be providing you with ways to understand how your actions or your sense of drive and sense of self could be rubbing people the wrong way or could be causing problems or issues for other people around you. Again, I do feel like that is um, accentuated by the fact that we have a full moon here in the month of September that's that's like in the late hours of September 9th into the early hours of September 10th. But that full moon is in the sign of Aquarius, which traditionally rules the 11th house. The 11th house is the house of your wishes and your fears, your hopes and your aspirations, but also your social groups and the social dynamic. And Aquarius is all about, which is right next, right after you in um, the, the Zodiac, Aquarius is all about revolutionizing things and making it so that it's balanced and harmonious for all individuals involved. And then at the time of this full moon, the sun will be in Leo, and that's the sign of personal exp expression, creativity, fun, the inner child, and children, <clears throat> okay? So maybe it could be that you start to realize that how you have been treating your children or ways that you've been learning or teaching your children, learning from your children or teaching your children could be a hindrance to them. It also could be putting into view how you are 
kind of negatively affecting some of the other people around you. The next card that's come out here is the Seven of Wands. And Capricorn, I feel like there could have been, for some of you, a level of defensiveness, um, not really caring, not wanting to hear it, being very much a militant type of energy. Uh, but see, that's where it's really going to get tripped up for you. Yep, the next card that just came out here is the Five of Swords. This is a my way or the highway type of energy. This is a very much go getting going after what it is that you want against all odds, maybe, or at all costs. And I really do feel like um, there, see the judgment call here. Now, now Capricorn, it may have been easy for you to do it this way, or you may have gained a lot of success in this way. But then over this time period of the month of September, I feel like there could be some situations that bring up that judgment call. It's time for you to start focusing outward instead of inward understanding what it is that you want yes but trying to go about it in ways that aren't destructive to other people you may be like i was saying you may be able to have gotten what it is that you wanted in terms of this or in terms of the methods of going about this but how has that been sabotaging you and 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 it's sabotaging you in terms of ask yourself this question i maybe i'm getting what it is that i want five of swords but where is the detriment here? Am I losing the the love and the uh, maybe even the allegiance of people around me because I'm going about this in ways that, yes, gets me what I want, but it also destroys relationships that you have with people or ultimately destroys or really is a hindrance or really negatively affects the lives of other people, okay? That really, that is the big thing. That's the, it's just a big cautionary tale. Now, if something like this ends up coming into your focus, Capricorn, understand that you do have a chance to change it to fix it whether maybe and maybe you won't be able to to fix or change the relationship that may have gone wrong with other people whether this is friends family business or maybe even romance but ultimately now that this has been brought to your awareness you have a chance to do better or do differently in the future all right Let's get into the chart. I want to show you guys the chart. Let's talk about this for a few moments. Um, this is uh, what you see here is the chart for September 2022 for you, a Capricorn rising specifically, but this could still resonate for a Capricorn sun or moon or any other placement. Uh, what we're looking at right now is specifically September 11th, but this is right after the full moon. Um, I want to go back to the full moon here. The for Capricorn rising, the moon is going to be in the second house. Again, more Taurus energy, your values. I really want to say the way that you make money. And with Mars here in the in the constellation of Taurus, Taurus is the ruler of the second house. And for Capricorn rising specifically, Mars is transiting through the fifth house ruled by leo which is exactly where the sun is in the constellation of leo and for capricorn rising this is in the eighth house okay understanding or uncovering ways that your sense of self-expression and going about what it is that you want could be detrimental to other people now what's really helping you here if this is a situation for you in which you're starting to realize oop i've got to clean up my act somehow just for the sake of future benefit moving forward again even if you can't heal or change or fix the relationships from the past that have been negatively or detrimentally affected by your actions here <clears throat> you do have an opportunity to change things moving forward and what's really helping you here is mercury mercury is going to be starting to station retrograde by the 9th of september and this is happening in the constellation of virgo virgo is number one how you are of service to other people in terms of the fact that virgo rules the sixth house but also, Virgo is all about health and well-being. Virgo is yet another earth sign. So this is, again, money, okay? But also physical health. Now, for Capricorn rising, this is happening in the ninth house of higher awareness, okay? Expanded mind and expanded point of view, stepping out of your comfort zone and traveling to new and far distant lands. 
if you are experience a situation experiencing excuse me a situation in which you're being brought to judgment or you are starting to understand how it is you can clean up your act mercury in retrograde in virgo is giving you the express opportunity to rewrite that programming also is giving you the express opportunity to learn from this situation especially if you're a capricorn rising because with mercury transiting through your ninth house this is helping to expand your mind so whereas maybe in the past you were a little close-minded around this seven of wands the at the uh, the influence of mercury transiting through the ninth house back into the eighth house of transformation and discovery this is helping you expand your mind this is helping you see clearly or at least learn more about this and then that is a, a, a mercury retrograde is a really great way or a really great great time period for you to transform this this mindset or rewrite this programming to ultimately six of swords move you from a rough situation rough waters maybe even rough elements when it comes to your interactions with other with the people around you with the greater collective or with your community or maybe just people that are closest to you move you out of those rough waters and into a much calmer and much more peaceful energy i'm definitely feel like feeling like this is a big thing for I, maybe it's just for capricorn rising um keep that in mind but i'm picking up on for some of you here this has been a main issue throughout your life and you just haven't been able to fix it or change it or see things differently but i also feel like there has also been an element of i don't really give a flying f i'm making my money i'm getting what i want i'm doing my thing so what if you're if you're a butt hurt about it see that's not so fair <laughs> okay that's really not so fair we got to learn to work together we've got to learn to be in a harmonious state with the people around us that doesn't mean that you can't go after what it is that you want capricorn but there are better ways to get it than by stepping on the toes or the backs or the necks of other people just to get what you want okay we're really trying to encourage you this full moon in aquarius in your second house is really trying to and working on encouraging you to clean up your act in this way and start to be more of a community member a team player start to really work on behalf of everyone because when you benefit when you win and you really do this by uh, working together as a team player with other people other people win too the main focus of this energy or the message for this month for you Capricorn mainly Capricorn rising is how do I step out of this um, combative energy with the five of swords here how do I lay down my sword and align with everyone around me or at least the people that are closest to me so that we all can get what it is that we want yeah next card you ha wow oh my god Capricorn I was feeling this energy and I didn't actually quite say it but here it is right here right now the hanged man the change in perspective some of you this month are starting to realize how um there has been a real hindrance some of you may have even gotten or worked yourself into a space where um you are actually starting to feel the setbacks uh the setbacks are becoming more of an issue for you than the results okay so that's where you're able this month you're really able and moving forward into the future but i feel like this month it's really starting to become apparent to you but you're able to get yourself out of this stuck or stagnant place because now collectively on the planet earth we are all moving out of this sense of real dominant self-centeredness and are starting to enter into the age of aquarius which is all about being in harmony and union with the people and the community and the environment around us being part of that ecosystem not using that ecosystem just to get what we want and leaving it rampant or running rampant through it and leaving it uh, bled dry the magician here okay the magician is your next card with the hanged man your mode your methods of uh manifestation okay changing your perspective and how it is you go about getting what it is that you want capricorn overall energy boop the hierophant okay institutions um where uh, uh dogma uh control uh um um in and all that kind of stuff but also learning 
hard and real lessons, okay? Serious lessons and tough lessons. This might actually be a little bit of a tough lesson for you, Capricorn, but I really feel like, oh, also, I really feel like you're gonna be able to learn it should you really take advantage of Mars being in Taurus because Mars being in Taurus, and Taurus is represented by that Hierophant energy, but Mars being in Taurus gives us a strong level of tenacity and maybe even self-centeredness when we're going about what getting what it is that we want or busy, building our ideal. Uh, uh, financial or physical reality, but also the really beneficial aspect of Mars moving through Taurus is it gives you that tenacity and that sense of follow through and commitment to get the job done. And for you, Capricorn, it's all about getting that job done in much better ways, in a more Aquarian way, which is right next to you in the, the Zodiac, but a more Aquarian way that really helps to benefit the greater good of all, not just the individual self. Final card you have here here, Capricorn, is the lovers, but the lovers is in reverse. I I'm going to be honest with you, the, the, the narrative or the feeling that I'm getting with here is you don't have a choice. But I'm, I'm not necessarily feeling that for you specifically, although, however, for some of you, the situations that you're going to be experiencing over this time period, are, the, the universe is actually saying to you, you don't really have a choice. Now, of course, we all have the law of free will, but if you really want to expand, if you really want to grow, if you really want to uh, uh, acquire a changed mindset, if you really want to get out of this stuck or stagnant situation, you don't really have a choice. You're going to have to learn this lesson or... I mean, your choice is either to learn this lesson and move forward and experience a much better existence for yourself, maybe a much easier existence for yourself, or not to learn this lesson and literally just stay where you are. Now, for some of you here, the energy of the lovers in reverse has been how you've been going about this situation. And I feel like some of you, for some of you, that's your how you've been, for some of you, the focus is how you've been um, teaching or relating to your children in this way, my way or the highway. You don't really have a choice. But see, the problem with that, Capricorn, is you are or have been, if that's resonating with you, you've been effectively working to take away the right to someone else's law of free will. Even though, yes, they will still have a choice, they can still choose to do so. I feel like there has been an energy of, well, you can choose to go against me, but it's going to be to your detriment. And I'm going to make sure that you are going to receive a detriment because you're not going with the way that I want you to go. That's not fair. It's not fair, Capricorn. I'm not even trying, like, I love you guys. I'm not even trying to mince words for you here because that's not really going to be of service to you. You need to hear this, okay? The law of free will is available for everyone. And when you work to take that away from others, you're really just creating negative karma for yourself. Take it as it resonates, guys. Closing message for you, Capricorn. Closing message for Capricorn here, spirit. Three of pentacles. Teamwork. Being a team player. How do you be, how can you ask yourself this question? I think this is the big question for you this month, Capricorn. How can you be more of a team player? Especially when it comes to your entrepreneur, entrepreneurial um, endeavors, okay? And then also this is definitely influencing a greater sense of self-mastery for you. In the long run, yeah, wow, I was just saying in the long run, Capricorn, this is really gonna work out for you if you take advantage of that. And here's that long run energy overall right here. The 10 of pentacles, long-term goals, but also business and also 10th house energies, which of which you are the natural ruler. The 10th house is all about how the public sees you, how your community sees you, but also your long-term goals and aspirations in terms of career and finances. How can you be a better team player? How can you work on mastering yourself even more to get more of what it is that you want in some much better ways? Excellent question for you this month. I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really, truly hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to smash that like button for me. Leave me a comment in the comment section down below, letting me know how this resonates for you. And always, 
definitely subscribe, especially if you're new here to true sidereal astrology and you'd like to explore more, you found yourself in the right place. And if you're looking for a view of your chart, I would be more than happy to send you your natal chart from the true sidereal system for free of charge. But also I am available for natal chart interpretations and sessions, and also just general energy readings, whether that be general energy or love readings for using the tarot and oracle cards. Definitely shoot me an email in the email, uh, uh, shoot me an email. My email can be found in the description box below, along with a list of the sessions and readings that I offer. With that said, Capricorn, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.